Hello everyone, welcome back to Fightage channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for supporting me, guys. Joshua knocked out Wilder. Fury becomes absolute and sails off into the sunset. Head to Hearn. The head of Matchroom Boxing, Head to Hearn, remains the most loyal supporter of British heavyweight Anthony Joshua and believes that his fighter will achieve success in mega fights more than once and will finish his career by collecting all the regalia that is possible. I am Anthony Joshua's number one fan. I think, call me deluded, that he will knock out Deontay Wilder, then knock out Tyson Fury, become the absolute champion and then we will sail off into the sunset. He clearly planned everything. Call me a dude who is deceiving himself, I don't care, I see it that way, we have a vision of it. Heron, who has worked with AJ since his professional debut in 2013, also said, I never liked to limit his career to a time frame, but the other day he did it when he said, you know, I want to box in 3 to 5 years, according to the promoter Joshua may box out in December. Because of this, he is rushing the Saudis to fight against Wilder. Or maybe we will have a couple of blockbuster fights next year. Now Heron is trying to organize a fight between Joshua and ex WBC champion Wilder. But this fight may be temporarily postponed even further if negotiations do not go quickly. It will be necessary to prepare then for an interim fight in December. The fight between two former world heavyweight champions Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder may take place later in March-April next year and not in Saudi Arabia, but, for example, in Las Vegas or at London's Wembley Stadium, Joshua's promoter Eddie Heron said. Before that, Joshua may enter the ring in December, and the Wild is gonna side during a fight in November. Joshua's team still hope that the fight, the terms of which have been agreed, will take place in Saudi Arabia, but the host side is in no hurry to sign contracts. We have agreed our part of the deal with the Saudis, Heron said. It is obvious that the changes are taking place there now. Different people organize different events. But we have agreed on our part, and Deontay has agreed on his. But the process is slow and frustrating, and we are starting to look for alternative options for this fight. As Talksport notes, in Saudi Arabia, the general direct trade for entertainment, in which is holding the Tyson Fury and Francis Nagano fight in October, and the not the skill challenge promotions company, which was the initiator of this idea, began to organize such big fights. We are not giving up, this is one of the biggest fights in the heavyweight division, Hiron said. Therefore, we can hold it elsewhere, but we have a proposal that we have agreed on, and we want to continue working on it, but sooner or later we will have to back down. It would be very interesting for me to have this fight in Las Vegas or at Wembley. I think it would be incredible. According to Hearn, Joshua can fight in December and Wilder in November. I mentioned a couple of names, Filip Hargovic and Andy Ruiz, but the answer is I don't know, because we were only focused on Wilder, he even said of Joshua's opponent for the fight in December. Wilder seems to be planning to enter the ring in November, and I understand him, because he has been a boxer for a long time. We will see what happens next, he even said. Deontay Wilder's trainer Malik Scott expressed concern that his 37 years old world has not yet entered the ring this year, and the expectation of the fight against Anthony Joshua, which is scheduled to be held in Saudi Arabia, seems to be delayed. It's a real disappointment because for me Deontay, the others are not interesting to me. Myth is the opportunity to return to the ring. There are a lot of promises, but it looks like their fulfillment is beginning to be broken. But we will see, Scott said. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.